Hey guys, my name is Ismas. Welcome to another Blender tutorial. Uh, yeah, welcome to another Blender live stream. Today we're going to be making this heater. Uh, yeah, and uh, let's get down to it. So let me drop in the reference images here, uh, if I can find them. Uh, so let me leave this link in the description so that, sorry, in the chat so that uh, if you want to uh, to see the reference images I'm using, you can just get them, get them directly there. Uh, and uh, yes, get to it. Let me save some of these images here. I think I have this here. I already have them on my desktop, so I'll just get them directly there. So we need this. Get this, get this here, and get this here. Uh, so the good thing about here, about this is that uh, we have uh, the front, uh, the uh, the front image and the side image and also this image here so we can we have different angles of uh, the object uh, which is nice to have so make sure this audio is good i think it is maybe let me reduce the music a bit Okay, um, Okay. so let's begin uh, by making this front side here. Uh, if you want, you can align these. Let me just, you can align them and uh, maybe rotate this 90 degrees. Uh, rotate it 180 degrees so that we have uh, it facing like that. So if you want to view the front, uh, the side view, you just go to the right view and then at the front view. Let me switch on my screencast keys. And then let's begin. Uh, you can see this object has symmetry, so we can use that to our advantage and uh, apply the mirror and use the uh, mirror modifier for this. So let's begin by adding a plane. We did this 90 degrees. Uh, we can move it forward so that it's not intersecting with the our the reference image. I think we also need to move this so that it's in the center. Let me see if I can find some something here. Needs to be in the center around there. You can unhide. Go to wireframe. I can also turn on uh, let's see, turn on random colors and then cavity. So we can go on and add a loop here delete these vertices and uh, go to uh, the modifiers and turn on the mirror modifier go to wireframe you can move this up like that and also move this let's see down up to there uh, so we have this loop cut here that curves like that so we can add a loop around there I don't know is there a way to change uh, this so that we don't see those lines are uh, those kind of wireframes wireframe lines going through let me see if under overlays i can see that i can switch that off i think it's here let me see out there Because I'm struggling to see the the loop that I'm uh, that I added there, that's why you see I want to remove those lines here so that I only remain with the vertices. But I don't think I have a way to do that. So let me just do it directly here. So I can add a loop around there. Bring back the music. Uh, we can select this loop and this bottom one and uh, push them. around there and 
look at this i think we need another loop here so that we can push that out like that and also add another one here I push that out like that uh, so you can see this curves a bit so this area here so we can select those two loops th those two boxes and use uh, make sure to apply scale and rotation and then use ctrl shift b to bevel those loops there and give them round them off like that And now we can start adding in a few more details. Uh, let's see. We just need to get the major vertices correct and then we can do that. So let's add a loop for this here. So if we use this, before we do that, let's use the knife tool. Hmm. Should we use the knife tool? Let's add a loop here and uh, bring this down to around there. Bring this up around there. Uh, this needs to be pushed. So we can select uh, these faces here and hit I to insert. I'll then select these what's these faces here, delete them. Select these edge loops. Uh, make sure you have clipping turned on and uh, clip uh, these vertices. So we have this, we can push that up, push this vert vertex like that. But I think we still need, we need a few edge loops running here uh, so that this is a smooth uh, curve. So I think we can add a loop here. Uh, also make sure that uh, whenever we add these loops, you also move these vertices around so that they follow that curve correctly. Something like that. Also this here. So we can turn on the subdivision surface and see how this looks. And uh, if you switch on this button here, it can show you how the surfaces, the vertices are going, are getting pulled. But, uh, let's uh, let's select this entire. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, let's select this entire part and extrude it up, extrude it forward, just like that. Let's first switch off this so that we have that protrude, protruding part. I think that's too much. So around there. I think we can uh, bring this forward a bit. Uh, let's, let's try using the bed modifier here. So turn on this simple deform. Surface def this surface deform. I scroll the simple deform, so add modifier, simple deform, change this to bend. You can see we have that bend. And uh, reduce the angle so that it follows that mm -hmm. curve, like that. So you can see uh, we have two lines here. We have two bends here. We have this protruding part and then this other one. So uh, this part here is this here and then this other part here is this here so let's unhide uh, so select this loop this part here i think that's it then we can turn on this uh, to, to see the modifier uh, in edit mode and then push that around there and uh, we need to select uh, the edges I think from here, the vert this vertex, and push it back a bit to around there. But uh, I think we can join, select this vertex and this, and join them using J. Uh, 
interface is making the wrong cuts so we can select these middle loops and then subdivide them and join use them to join that with that and uh, select this join this with that as well and if we go to front front view uh, this is what we have we can also join this we can also make a cut from here uh, to there so that will reduce uh, the size of the end gone uh, that is there so select this and this join and I uh, will need to do this to the bottom as well is a heat radiator yeah I did save okay 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 so let's see what else Um, uh, since we added more resolution at the bottom here, uh, we need to also, we need to push it so that it follows our curve, our curvature. I think this can be pulled back. Oh, sorry, we're using the default, we're using this bend modifier, so we don't need to do that uh, since this uh, bend modifier is already making those bends uh, that we want so and uh, if you wanted you could also use the bend modifier for this top part here to carve uh, this area so let's see about that so let's first correct some of these vertices some of these polygons here straighten that up and uh, copy this deformer and uh, the rotation the axis let's see what axis should it be I think it's going to be the Z yeah it is the Z you can see that deforming so if you increase the angle you get something like that but it's it's not too much it's, uh, it's around there and uh, I think we need to bring this sub subdivision surface below uh, the, the bend but uh, uh, we need supporting loops for those areas here for those sharp corners so what we can do let's continue working on this uh, inset here I think we need more resolution around here so I can add a loop uh, that goes like this and uh, can move these around come to this side here basically you want them to follow uh, that curve here that bend that you see redistribute some of these vertices and because we're using the bend modifier uh, we don't need to come to this side and uh, adjust these sides uh, because the bend modifier is doing that for, for us so without bend modifier uh, this is simply a flat uh, surface so if we are modeling directly without the bend modifier we we'll need to come in and change those vertices to match uh, the curvature but because we're using the bend modifier it is doing that for us So again, we need to come in here and uh, adjust some of these vertices so that they follow that curve as we want. And I think that's 